Hi right, guys, Legend of Old here back once again. AEW Dynamite 24th of May 2023 review. As you can see, the tire, Valkyrie, and Lady Frost, yo. Looking glorious out here. If you little guys in the thumbnail. Um, match tonight. <laughs> in uh, my eyes. Tire, Lady Frost, man, always put in work, you know. They always do, always look good doing it too. If you don't see Lady Frost, go check out other matches, man. She's exceptional. And you, everyone knows about Tata Back. We know this. Uh, I was looking, watching these uh, lovely ladies putting work in the ring. But let's get um the lowdown of uh, AEW Dynamite. Wasn't much happening on the show, to be honest. It was kind of a uh, a basic show. For for go home, it was, it was weak, very weak. Um, but yeah, let's start this off. Orange Cassidy starts to show off once again. I'm kind of getting a little bit sick of Orange Cassidy right now. He's uh, winning and he shouldn't be winning. He's, the thing is, people haven't, haven't said anything about this before. I'm the first one to say this. And it is, right now it's a hot take. Orange Cassidy, his character, which is a very comedic character. And his character is supposed to be lazy. So why the hell is he doing these open challenges week after week? doesn't fix character. This is why it doesn't make any sense. He's not a workhorse. His, his character doesn't warrant that. He's not built to be a workhorse. He's out here week after week starting shows. The famous towel week after week. It doesn't fit his character. He's a lazy character. The whole point is him not to defend the belt. That's the whole point. He's supposed to be lazy. So... Yeah, this whole tiring doesn't fit his character. It's, 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 it's weird. It's weird to me. But um, Orange gets the W over Carl Fletcher. Carl Fletcher damn near killed him in this match. Orange Cassidy somehow found a way to win. It's ridiculous with that damn penny that was it that last supper penny he has copied it from Darby Allen. Um, yeah, survived again. And uh, why the hell did Mick Carl Fletcher just lose like this? They just signed him. Or the open, so why the hell is he losing this match? What terrible what the hell is, was weird. Weird to me. Um put him in a weak position already. But yeah, Orange wins again, or whatever. Uh, Ricky Starks cutting the promo, gets his ass beat by Juice and uh, <laughs> Jay. Juice and Jay. Or Jay and Juice. You know what I'm saying? Beat by Double J, and the beat down was hilarious. Jay White smoking his um Ricky Starks pose that was that was cracking me up. I was dying. Jay White is special, bro. This guy's talent. Juice is funny as hell. So these two together, Bullet Club Gold, they are gold together. Make no mistake. Expect gold in these two's futures very soon. Might be as a tag team. We'll see. But. uh he starts, he needs some help. He's getting his ass beat every week. What the hell? People on Twitter are even making memes about it. He's getting beat up every week. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dead. Um, yeah, great segment between Ricky and uh, Bullet Club. Um, Jack Perry promo. It's whatever. He's not a very good talker. It's like whatever at this point. Uh, no one wants to hear Jack talk. Just saying. Um, after that, we got FTR. Coming out, um, talking about Jay and Jeff, um, and talking about Mark Briscoe. Mark Briscoe comes out, slaps Dax in the face. <laughs> Mark Briscoe's had enough of everyone. Slap Dax in the face. Cash holds him back, walks up the ramp, because um, Jeff Jarrett's crew's coming down, pushes Karen out the way, um, slaps. <laughs> Yeah, he slapped the big gum. Oh, what's his name? What is his name? Slap Sanjay, slap Jeff. No, he probably pushed. Pie faced Sanjay, slap Jeff Jarrett in the face. <laughs> then he grabbed Jeff, um, JD for those. I love you, brother. But I'm sick of this crap. He pushes him out of the frame. <laughs> then he walks off. This was, this was funny as heck, bro. Mark Briscoe is bringing the humor to the show. He's quietly becoming the MVP of AEW. 
and this segment is for some reason this this is killing me. Um, but yeah, now we'll see how this goes. It's every week is unfolding. Mark Briscoe being the uh, MVP. So <laughs> I want to see how the segment did in the ratings. I want to know. I just want to know. Um, but um, I enjoyed it. Just saying, I enjoyed it. Sammy Guevara flipping in the view. <sighs> yeah, him as well. I don't really care to hear him talk half the time either. Just trying to be all a babe, rah rah, sweets, baby face. Nah, bro, you're a whole heel. I like it. Um, and after that, we've got House of Black announcing the Open Rules match versus AR Fox, uh, Blake Christensen, and Metallic. Um, yeah, thrown together tag team, six man. So uh, it was whatever, House of Black's gonna win, whatever. Um, AR Fox taps out to uh, Buddy Matthews' uh, prison trap from his uh, girlfriend, Rhea Ripley. <laughs> Shout out to Rhea Ripley, you know what I'm saying? Um, they win, Uber Cloverleaf tap out. And my boy Brody, bro. I love my like High Black. He's my favorite out of the group. But I'm flipping Brody Lee, he's been, I mean Brody King. Shout out to Brody Lee, just saying. Brody King, he's he's the leader of this group, bro. Right now, he's the MVP of this group. Just saying. Brody King is on a roll right now. He just looks like a beast every time he steps into that ring. Uh, he needs to have a breakout moment. He needs it because he's standing out way more in this group than anyone else. On the male side of things, so we all know, Julia Hart is the true leader of this group. Bro. He's the true standout of this team. The house always waits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bro, Julia Hart is special, bro. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> BCC Club promo on the elite. You know where that's going. It's about to be chaos. It's about to be mayhem. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, you know how the usual BCC promo goes. It's going to be blood. Uh, after that, you have the. Uh, the pillar segment, you know what I'm saying? Darby, I keep saying it every week, Darby's getting much better on the, on the mic. Um, MGF, damn near buried everyone. <laughs> Bro, this guy said he's going to create an echo chamber for Jack Perry so he can bore himself to death. Bro, I'm dead. MGF is the flipping king. That burn was iconic. <laughs> the burn like that in wrestling history before my life. What the freak? I said that he's going to create and throw Jack Perry in a lone echo chamber and bore himself to death. Bruh. That's unbeatable. You can't come back from that. That is, that is uh, instant death. That is, um, you can't resurrect from this. It's, it's impossible. Like you're, you're dead like, for, like, forever. You can't come back. <laughs> Jeez. Trapped, um, but yeah, uh, Jack Perry gets the best of MGF, holds the belt up high. Uh, Darby and Sammy's in the ring, so MGF looks weak going into double or nothing uh, in a good way, in a good way because he, he, he lets his uh, opponents go over him when they need to. Um, just give that illusion that they're gonna beat him at the pay per view, but we all know they ain't winning that damn thing. MGF retaining that double or nothing, we know this. Uh, and then my my two babies, yes, Taya Valkyrie and Lady Frost, match the night. My favorite match the night. They go out it, man. Lady Frost is showcasing her skills. All of a sudden, Jay Cargill comes out, and they look great. They look great looking. <sighs> Jay Cargill, I wasn't feeling what she was wearing, but they, they look great. My gosh, she looked great. Um. Hi, bro. Road to Valhalla. One, two, three. Lady Frost, well done. You put in work. You know you always look good. You know I'm always going to support you, Lady Frost. It is what it is. You took the L, but still winning the feat. Okay. So uh, next up, we had Adam Page uh, interview. He had some stupid ass eye patch. <laughs> His eye patch looked trash. That's some dollar store eye patch. What the hell is he doing there, bro? 
whole strap on his head. <laughs> Bro, um, I don't page it ridiculous. But um, yeah, see, so talking about the elite and the DCC stuff, it was whatever. Um, and then we have the contract signing. Jericho, Adam Cole, we've got uh, the JS and JS out there. We've got um, Roderick Strong out there for Cole. He said he's gonna break Jericho's legs. Jericho said, "What kind of man watches his his girlfriend get beat down like that?" <laughs> I was, I was laughing so much. The way Jericho says it, bro, is funny as heck. He's such an antagonist. He's like the perfect antagonist. You can't beat him when he goes full heel mode. You can't stop it. Um, but yeah, he brings it up, and then Cole goes, "We need to even this up a bit." Because Jericho goes, "There's five of us. And there's only two of you." And then he brings out Sabu. I'm like, what the? Freak? Please. He goes, homicidal, suicidal, genocidal, Sabu. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Sabu comes out with some iconic theme tune, bro. Ruckus putting in work with those theme tunes. Comes out, does the pose about three times. And those want to talk, is like, free the mic. Hits his chair in um, Danny Magic's face. And does it in the segment JAS runoff, <laughs> which looks stupid. Didn't even get no throw hands or nothing. It was just dumb. But, yeah. but Sabu, he's a. Uh, Double or nothing, what the hell? This is weird to me, bro. What the heck? Anyways, Sabu is uh his back looks like for a one-off. Um then we have a Roderick Strong go straight to the Roderick Strong Danny Garcia match. A very hard hitting match. Power move for power move. Garcia's dancing out here. <laughs> out here dancing. He Roderick Strong's face. Roderick Strong chops him in the in the in the balls. That was a funny spot, bro. I was dying. The crowd was like, yes! No more dancing. The crowd was, the crowd was loving it. End up hike. One, two, three. Well, the strong picks up another W. Beats Jericho. Beats Garcia. You love to see it. Still looking strong. Um, Garcia took a beating in this match. Them chops were heavy as heck, bro. He got his ass beat. But the strong was playing no games out there. This guy was roughhousing to the highest level. When Roy Strong is in that ring, bro, don't expect no soft match. He, he's like a Jamie Hayer version, the male version of Jamie Hayer in that ring, bro. He's about to stiff you. Um, after that, we've got a Willow video package. You'd love to see it. He made it look like a million dollars. You love it, man. New Japan Strong Women's Champion. Yes. And yes. Love me some Willow. Like, yo. Um, and we have the uh, main event, Claudio. Utah versus the Lucha Bros, Mickey Kings. You know what I'm um, very good tag match as you expect. You know what I'm saying? Nothing special though. Uh, when the U takes a dub, some takes the L. I'm about to say W takes the L. I should expect. Pentagon picks up the W. Penta, package power driver. You know what I'm saying? Um, the tag team move from um, him and Phoenix. And one, two, three. So Claudio couldn't pick up the, the tag belts because the uh, elite got involved. They super kicked Claudio outside the ring. <laughs> um, he couldn't recover. So then he got their revenge on the BCC, attacking him last week. And then Fox rung in the ring, hyped up the uh, double knocking match, and then that was it. So uh, yeah, um, basic, um, kind of a. Nothing show. The only match I was kind of excited about was uh, Tyre and Frost. And that was it. Didn't care about anything else in the show. Um, but yeah, Double Enough is coming up. Good card, by the way. I'm going to be interested in the card, that's for sure. But that, if this was like zero hype for me, zero hype for Double Enough, I'm going to enjoy it though, for a fact. A lot of people were wrestling in, in the pay per view, but in PLE. But this, this show did nothing for the hype for anyone else, guaranteed. Anyways. Put your comments in the comment section down below. Tell me what you guys think. I'm out. Peace.